I just kept getting attitude. Like I just kept getting attitude every time he spoke to me. And then he finishes with the paper and then he just throws it at me. Guys, so today is day one in Nigeria and I have a lot of things to do, to do today because tomorrow I'm leaving Abuja to go to Port Harcourt for my friend's wedding. So today I have to go to all the banks to sort things out because for a while now my, my accounts haven't been working. I need to go to the banks early enough to sort things out. I'm looking like a little grease ball. So. <laughs> I put a lot of sunscreen on, like the sunscreen spray, so I'm maybe shiny, but that's okay. Um, so prior to coming, coming back to Nigeria, right? Everyone had been complaining, oh, it's so hot in Nigeria. It's really hot. But then guess what? Since I landed, it's been raining all day. Literally, it's been raining all day. Look, I can't show you. Okay. Look at the, it's, it's been raining the whole day. And I'm like, where's the heat? Cause I mean, I came for the heat, didn't I? <laughs> It's been a while I drove on this side of the road, on the left side of the road. And I'm just wondering, do I remember how to drive in Nigeria? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. And I think my license is still valid. I think I'm really shiny. My, li my license is still valid, so that's good. But I just took, because I'm so used to driving on the UK side of things. But well, now this is coming back home and driving on the other, on the other side of the road. And I'm just wondering. I can do it. <laughs> GT Bank is the best. They are always a step ahead of their peers and the other banks in Nigeria. I mean, it's so easy to get an, a new debit card. All you need to do is find this machine, uh, put in your account number, your date of birth, your fingerprint, and then it starts printing you a brand new sparkling ATM card. Um, so this is the fingerprint area. And then this is literally where the card comes out from at the bottom there. I was just waiting, chilling for the card to be fully printed. And you're going to see it pop out in a little while. Here it goes. Watch out. Yup. Uh, the downside is that it falls on the floor though, but yeah, I've got my card. So guys, I've been to two different banks today and I've had different experiences in both. The first bank I, the first bank I went to was GT Bank and that was in Asokoro. And I, I mean, I just have to mention their names because these two, they, am I in the wrong lane? Uh, maybe. So I'm just trying to buy petrol. I just want to make sure that I'm not on the wrong lane because I can see cars going through the corners. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to my rant. So I went to two different banks. Uh, the first bank was GT Bank and the staff were absolutely amazing. So from the entrance of the bank, when I told, I saw some ladies that I told them what I wanted. They're like, oh, you can get, uh, you can get a debit card within a few minutes. Just go to the machine outside the building and then get it. When they got it, came back to the, um, bank and then I had a few things to set. So they said, go upstairs, look for this gentleman. And the gentleman wasn't around. Long story short, someone else, just decided to volunteer that time. And then he helped me basically step by step. Like he went upstairs, downstairs about twice. Very, very kind gentleman. If you know courage at, um, at GT Bank in Asokoro and then Siwa, lovely lady, both of them were absolutely, absolutely amazing. They went out of there. Well, you know, when people are doing their jobs and they're not just doing their jobs, but they actually want to help. It's, I mean, <sighs> I felt, I felt, I felt, I mean, I felt very, very happy at the end of like, of everything and leaving the bank. I was, I was very happy and their, their jobs, I mean, what they did was very commendable. So I have to just mention it here. Now imagine having such a good experience with that bank, right? And then you go to another bank and it's, so I went to Polaris Bank, same as Okuru. I met a lovely, lovely lady there. Her name is Maria. Helps with everything. Basically did 80% of the job. But then obviously they needed 
um, one more person there to do something and then it's all done. I went to this young man the first time, sat down. He said, take a seat. I sat down. He continued gisting with his colleagues. He just kept on talking like I wasn't there. I was like, do you know what? Um, I'll be right back because my car was parked somewhere very awkward. I needed to move my car. Moved my car, came back to the... So I, I wasn't parked at the bank. I was parked somewhere on the street. Moved my car, drove into the bank, came back to this young man's table and then obviously for us to conclude whatever papers he had to document. And then... I just kept getting attitude. Like I just kept getting attitude every time he spoke to me. And I'm like, bruh, this is not necessary. But anyway, I need to get this thing done, right? Let's do it and then move on. And then he finishes with the paper and then he just throws it at me. Basically, the paper was based, I mean, the it was about four sheets of paper stapled together. It was basically falling off the table and I had to catch it. And I'm like, what? I caught it. I got up. But then I was like, no. I was like, do you know what? I just want to, can I just close my account? Because, I mean, it's getting ridiculous. And then he's like, why do you want to close your account? I'm like, I just want to close the account because I, it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, let me, I just want to close the account. <laughs> I mean, it seems like people people go out of their way to help you and then others don't really give a damn. I don't even think he likes his job. He's just there because, what well, they're paying him. It's just, I mean, and when they do that, they, they just, they, they rub a negative light or they shine a negative light on those that actually love their job and actually trying to help you. Because the first lady, Maria, really went out of her way. She did everything she could just to help me. We signed everything, got everything printed out, photocopied, emailed and stuff like that. And then just to get to this young man and then it's just... <sighs> Nigeria is a jungle. That's basically it. Even like dry... <laughs> Let's not talk about driving. Let's not talk about driving because it's been something else. Let's not talk about driving. But Nigeria is a jungle. If you haven't been, because I know I have international viewers, right? And I don't want you to see Nigeria in such a negative light. Nigeria is a lovely, lovely, lovely place to visit, right? It's a lovely place to visit. Just be aware there are two kinds of people. They are the kind of people who are willing to help you and are sincere and they wouldn't ask for anything in return. And there are people that are just people with bad character. <laughs> anyway, guys, so enough of this rant. I don't want to make I don't want to make this a full on rant, but they're just people that will just be people because I I don't see why someone will act that way. I don't see why someone will act that way. He's being paid for his job, and he doesn't like his job. So anyway. Enough about that. Now let's talk about driving. So I'm driving through the streets. I see a red light. I'm trying to stop, and cars are speeding by me to beat the red light. And they're honing like, boom, boom, like, move, move, move. I'm like, but the light is red. And they pass and then they cast at you. They really, is that what we do here? To be fair, I mean, because. The areas I've driven around so far as Asokoro and basically Asokoro and then Asokoro is not a jungle. So I'm surprised to see people acting that way. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So one more thing for the day. So the car I'm currently driving, you can see the petrol level. It's, it's almost on, it's like quarter, it's like quarter tank. It's less, a little bit less than quarter tank. And I'm at the petrol station and I'm about to fill it up. And this guy is a beast with petrol. It's a beast. And I'm almost having palpitations knowing how much I'm going to spend on filling this car. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you know how much I spend. That's the prices. So petrol is 660. Diesel is 120. Okay. And then this is a quarter tank. Nigeria, Nigeria is not totally lawless. You see, we followed the lights. Can you see that? We all waited for it to be green before we started moving. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. This is Biobag, the Agarki uh, branch to be precise. I come here for one thing and one thing only. 
they are moi moi. It is soft, moist, tasty, spicy, everything a moi moi should be. It is. It is. <laughs> it's been a very, very, very long day. <clears throat> Can you hear me? I'm not sure. I'm so tired. <clears throat> so, guys, I'll just take you through today. The time right now is, can I see, will you let me see the time? I'm not sure. I think it's about a few minutes past 10 p.m., right? I, for those of you that don't know already, I got to Nigeria today. So this is a little trip to Nigeria. I'm going to spend a few days here and then head back to the UK, obviously, because I need to work. Um, so basically, um, Took a flight, got into Abuja about, let's just call it 5 a.m., right? And got home, surprised everybody. Um, I don't know if I'm going to insert the clips or not, but if you did see the clips, then yeah, you can tell that everyone was indeed pleasantly surprised. Um, so surprised everyone. Um, unpacked my bag. Well, not properly unpacked, but like got out the goodies I got and then kind of had to separate it into who's like whose stuff is whose and then i'm just so tired i'm sorry <laughs> i just know i need to end day one that's why i'm making this video right now but got home sorted things out i had a shower and then headed back out around 10 30 ish thereabouts um headed straight to the banks because obviously i need to sort out my banks if not you surely wouldn't have any money to spend went to the bank sorted some things out you can hear the i mean I'm so tired i'm so sorry <sighs> had very good experiences had not so good experiences which obviously i shared if you've been watching this video um got home had some lunch i actually had to buy moi moi so i don't know if you if you've lived in abuja or if you've come to abuja if you don't buy your bag i love their moi moi love 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 their moi moi i hadn't eaten anything the whole day went to buy a bag got to moi moi came back home ate, and went back out so this time around i have to go get some fresh corn roll this is how we do it in nigeria can you see can you see that so this is how we do it in nigeria can you see how neat can you see how neat it is so impressed um and it was about if you convert this to it was five that it was five thousand naira when you convert that to pounds that's that's wait that's like three pounds I don't want to convert it because that just sounds so cheap. So, I mean, for cornrows like this, they'll probably charge about 40 something pounds, if not 50 pounds, because for cornrows that's just like maybe three on this side, three on that side, they charge about 20, 25 pounds. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on. Okay, 10 on this side, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This girl is perfect. 10, 10. 20 cornrows for 5,000 naira. And if you do the conversion, it's about 3. It's about 3 pounds. About. The best things happen in Nigeria, man. Anyway, got this beautiful cornrows done. I can wear my wigs. And if... Have I mentioned this? No, I don't think I have. I'm actually going for a wedding tomorrow, so stay tuned to this video. I might actually think, coming to think about it, I might actually make the wedding vlog a different video. But I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Just keep watching. And um, after getting the cornrow done, or whilst I was getting the cornrow done, I had my um, gel nail polish done for my toenails because they're looking crusty. Got my gel polish done. I didn't do my fingernails because I have very, very beautiful fingernails. Can you see that? I love my fingernails. They're naturally beautiful. And I'm not always in a hurry to tend to fix it or do something else to it because these are beautiful. Anyway, guys, um, 
got back home did like the proper proper unpacking and of course i told you guys i'm going for a wedding tomorrow so i need to pack my suitcase for that wedding and it just occurred to me that there's a wedding like the actual marriage ceremony itself and then there's the thanksgiving which is the next day I brought a dress for the wedding itself, but I didn't bring a dress for the Thanksgiving. What was I thinking? I didn't bring shoes for the Thanksgiving either. So I'll just have to work things out. I have some options actually looking at me right now. And I think I'll take them all and then decide on the day what I'm going to wear. Um, Right, I'm so tired. My back hurts, my arm hurts because I carried my suitcase myself and... The muzzles, the muzzles here, they're just really tense. I mean, I'm not squinting as I'm doing this, but they're really painful. It's really tender and tense and this is fine. But this is, this really hurts. My back hurts. I just need to sleep on this beautiful bed and get on my trip tomorrow. <laughs> um, do have anything to say, guys? Nigeria has been a beautiful experience so far. I mean, there's been downs, there's been negatives, but so far so good. I'm not regretting any single bit of it. I love that I took this trip. I'm happy to be here and happy to be sharing my experiences and my joys with you. I know I look really tired. That's because I'm actually really tired. So I think at this point, I'll just end day one in Nigeria and say goodnight. See you tomorrow.